What's going on guys, Dark Souls 3 for PC, fighting the final boss, Soul of Cinder, deprived class level 1, no damage, using everything but items, using a deep thrall axe plus 10, the rings I'm using is Lloyd's sword ring, Flynn's ring, Prisoner's chain, and Carthus blood ring, hope you guys enjoy and let's get started, and of course I'm using the shield to increase uh, stamina recovery. So Soul of Cinder could be a pain, but it helps out, at least it did for me, having quick step. So when he does this slow move, you'll be able to uh, hit him twice after your roll or uh, quick step. Most of his moves are pretty fast and some delay too as well. When you get him down, it'll take about maybe uh, five or six hits. And then you just keep hitting him. Of course, you don't want to hit him too much because when you run out of stamina, it kind of sucks. So his sorcerer mode is actually really easy to uh, deal with. Usually I just stay close to him before he sprays me. I'll let him spray and just as he's about to spray me, I just roll so I get behind him. Same thing with the great sword. You'll be able to get behind him. You'll take no damage. His assassin mode is uh, pretty annoying. He changes into four phases. This is his third. Assassin mode, I'll usually just run away. Only time I really hit him is when he tries to throw a fireball or when he busts himself up with the fireball. And I stunned him there and I got a couple of cheap hits in there, which was quite nice. So now he's going to buff himself up. That's totally fine. I don't care. Just going to hit and run. Just going to have him chase me here. It's, at least for me, this stance is very annoying. It's always hard for me to hit him. When he rolls, he'll try to hit you. He won't hit you right away. He'll kind of delay his move, and then he'll hit you again. Just easy rolls there. And then pretty much what I'm doing is waiting until he changes stance. So that is just poison. Just stay away from it. So now he's using his pole arm. What you're going to do is what I usually do is uh, I usually hug to the right side of him because uh, the weapon itself has very long reach. But when he's close to you or when you're close to him, it's hard for him to turn. When he does that little move there, just roll back. When he spins around, if you're behind him and roll perfectly, you won't get hit by the second hit. So I rolled there, was able to get behind him, just going to stun him here. Get a couple hits in, and then I'm going to hit him again. I got him down just enough to uh, get him down to his second phase. So now when he's in his second phase, he uh, loses his stances. He'll uh, go into another uh, series of moves. So it's actually, honestly, it was actually relatively easy. The only problem for me that I had was dodging his uh, the spears when he throws them in the air when they come back down. It's, for some reason, I had trouble dodging that. Everything else was pretty easy. So when you see him jump in like that, you kind of want to wait to see if he's going to do anything else. If he doesn't, just hit him once and then just carefully roll back. So you're going to pretty much have him chase you. When he tries to thrust you, I usually go in a up forward motion to the right. And that usually helps out a lot. You don't want to roll back because you'll just most likely get stabbed. Usually when he throws the spears at me, you can hit him. But usually when I hit him, I always end up getting hit. So I, I chose not to. So there, he'll try to hit you. Sometimes, like I said, so just uh, hit him if he tries to. If he thrusts after the jump in, then don't hit him. And then when he, uh, most of the time when you'll see him throw spears in the air, he'll do a backstep animation, and then he'll throw the spear in the air. But if you can stun him in time, he, uh, they won't go in the air. So there's the jump in, wait until he does something. I was going to hit him, but I didn't get too close. My roll was kind of off. So you kind of want to roll as he gets close to you, kind of almost at the same time. So there's a thrust, just up, upright roll there. Like I said, I am dodging his spears. I, for some reason, when I always try to hit him, I get hit. There's his back step. He's going to throw the spear in the air. I'm going to get a few hits in. I'm going to turn around and run away. Luckily, I didn't get hit there because I always had problems. Almost got thrusted there. Luckily, I was able to turn around in time. So he's almost dead here, just a few more hits. He's going to jump in. I didn't get close to him. My timing sucked. So when he does like a uh, golf club stance, he's going to do his five hit combo. Just simply just move the hell out the way. Wait till he finishes. And then get uh, a little bit more closer to him. So now he's going to try to hit me. As soon as he is about to put his sword down like that, usually I'll hit him twice and then run away. Just a few more hits here. Just pretty much uh, having him chase me. No need to um, get him. 
So now he's doing the back step, he's throwing the spears. I'm going to finish him off here. And I literally thought I got hit here, but I did not. I got lucky as hell. And that's it, you guys. That was the final boss. I am done with Dark Souls. If I do any more videos, they'll be on New Game Plus 7. If I ever want to try to attempt anything interesting. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. I will see you guys later.